Walt Willie is set to return to General Hospital as his former All My Children character Jackson Montgomery, beginning Tuesday, August 29. In teasing his return to the daytime drama series, Willie said on Twitter, Lots of other surprises in store, so stay tuned, as they say. As for his return to daytime, Willie notes, This has been so much fun. To put on the old grease paint in good clothes and entertain you. To hang with fellow actors who know how very fortunate we are. To reconnect with old friends and make some new ones along the way. To feel the love and support you've shown me for nearly 30 years just well up and spill over me. He added, Thanks to General Hospital's EP, Frank Valentini, for digging me out of the mothballs, and to you for caring that he did. During his mid-July debut on General Hospital, Willie appeared in three episodes with the actor sharing scenes with Lynn Herring, Lucy Coe, and Christina Wagner, Felicia Scorpio, as the women tried to get the goods on Lucy's man friend Martin Gray, played by Willie's former All My Children co-star Michael E. Knight. Presumably, Jackson will continue playing an active role in the side story, airing across two episodes this time, according to a tweet by the actor. He appears in the Tuesday, August 29 and Wednesday, August 30 episodes. Willie joined the cast of All My Children in 1987 and played Jackson Montgomery until the show's series finale, which aired on September 23, 2011. In the final moments of the episode, Jackson told Erica Kane, Susan Lucci, he could no longer stand by her and that she can go to Los Angeles alone after she told him she didn't want to marry him. As he leaves the room, seemingly walking away from her for good, Erica runs after Jackson, begging him to listen to her. In the end, Jackson spouts the line, Frankly, Erica, I don't give a damn what you need, referencing the famous quote from the 1939 classic film, Gone with the Wind, wherein Rhett Butler, Clark Gable, Tell Scarlett O'Hara, Vivian Lee. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Upon hearing the updated line on All My Children, Erica's run to catch up with Jackson just happens to coincide with J.R. Chandler, then played by Jacob Young, aiming his gun and firing a shot, leaving fans pondering who got shot. In the 2013 reboot, it was revealed to be J.R.'s ex-wife, Marissa Tasker, Sarah Glendening. Before joining All My Children, Willie played characters on such soaps as The Edge of Night, Another World, As the World Turns, and Ryan's Hope. His most recent acting credit is as Gregory Ashford in the digital drama series Tainted Dreams. Willie also played the role of Jackson Montgomery over a series of episodes on the short-lived daytime drama The City, a spinoff of Loving, which itself was a pseudo-spinoff All My Children. The late Ains Nixon created all three shows. For the first time since All My Children went off the air in 2011, fans of the daytime drama series will find out what happened to Jackson Montgomery when his portrayer Walt Willie joins the cast of General Hospital next month for a brief stint. According to Soap Opera Digest, which first reported the news, Willie will reprise the role of Jackson when the character heads to Port Charles. This marks the second time Willie will have portrayed the character in another series outside of All My Children. He previously portrayed the character over several episodes of The City in 1996. In a post on Facebook, Willie confirmed his joining General Hospital, saying, Been sitting on this one for a while, but now I've been given the clearance to announce that Jackson Montgomery is visiting Port Charles. I'll be doing a few episodes of General Hospital, due to air mid-July, so excited to reprise my character and see and work with old friends. He added, I'll keep you posted on any details. Jackson in Port Charles. Who would have thought it? Let me and ABC know what you think about it. Willie's appearance on General Hospital marks a reunion of sorts for the actor as he previously appeared in scenes with Fanola Hughes when she appeared on All My Children as her Anna Devane character from 2001 to 2003. Other notable All My Children alums who have made their way to General Hospital albeit as new characters, include James Patrick Stewart, ex Will Cortland, now Valentin Cassidy, Michael E. Knight, ex Tad Martin, now Martin Gray, Rebecca Budick, ex Greenlee Smythe, ex Hayden Barnes on GH, and Cameron Matheson, ex Ryan Lavery, now Drew Kane. Although specific storyline details have yet to be revealed, 
it's understood that Jackson is likely to be providing some legal expertise, similar to the experience needed by Nora Buchanan, Hillary B. Smith from One Life to Live in 2017 and 2019, respectively. Willie joined the cast of All My Children in 1987 and played Jackson Montgomery until the show's series finale, which aired on September 23, 2011. In the final moments of the episode, Jackson tells Erica Kane, Susan Lucci, he will no longer stand by her and she can go to Los Angeles alone after she tells him she doesn't want to marry him. Desperate for him to go with her, Erica runs after Jackson, baiting him to listen to her. In the end, Jackson spouts the iconic line, Frankly, Erica, I don't give a damn what you need, referencing the famous line from the 1939 classic film, Gone with the Wind, wherein Rhett Butler, Clark Gable, tells Scarlett O'Hara, Vivian Lee, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Upon hearing the updated line on All My Children, Erica again runs after Jackson just as Jagar Chandler, then played by Jacob Young, aims his gun and fires, leaving fans pondering who got shot. In the 2013 reboot, it was revealed to be J.R.'s ex-wife, Marissa Tasker, Sarah Glendening. Prior to joining All My Children, Willie appeared on the soaps The Edge of Night, Another World, As the World Turns, and Ryan's Hope. His most recent acting credit is as Gregory Ashford in the digital drama series Tainted Dreams. Marking the first time he's portrayed the role of Jackson Montgomery since the series finale of All My Children in September 2011, Walt Willie is joining the cast of General Hospital this week when Jackson crosses paths with Lucy Coe, Lynn Herring, and Felicia Scorpio, Christina Wagner, in Port Charles starting with the Wednesday, July 12 episode. In promoting his return to daytime, Willie noted in a series of tweets that he'll be doing a full court press tour this week taping interviews across several ABC affiliates, including WLS-TV Chicago, on Monday, July 10 at 11.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time with Tracy Butler. On Tuesday, July 11, he'll be live in studio at Nashville's WHRA News 2's Local on 2 Lifestyle Show between 2 o'clock 3 o'clock p.m. He'll also be appearing in segments across other ABC-owned stations. In addition to this first appearance on General Hospital this week, look for Willie to appear in additional episodes as part of his story arc, including the Monday, July 17 and Tuesday, July 18 episodes, among air dates to be announced. In an upcoming interview with Soap Opera Digest on Newsstands Friday, Willie says, Everyone I met was so welcoming and kind. It was a great experience. Scene partner Lynn Herring said, He's so good. There is such a twinkle in his eye. He was just so sparkly. We had a lot of fun working together. 